Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 37 for our PCNSA series. As we have already covered about user ID and the lab as well, so I have explained everything about user ID. If you have not watched that particular video, I will request you or recommend you to please watch that. I will link that video in the i button. In this video, we are going to understand what is side to side VPN why we need side to side vpn okay and there are few terminologies which we need to understand when we study vpn so what is encryption what is hashing what is authentication and what is defi hellman key exchange this is very much practical and this is basically most asked question in in the interview so i will request you to please watch the video till then and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. so without any further delay let's get started so friends first of all we'll try to understand what is side to side vpn and why we need side to side VPN with the help of this particular diagram we'll try to understand more about it now as the name suggests here is VPN VPN is virtual private network right so basically what is happening here is we are creating a virtual network between private network right so we have a branch which is having a sales network here in the branch office and we have headquarter where we have finance service so let's take an example of a subnet 192.168.10.0 slash 24 now this is a private range okay if this private range wants to communicate with this private range over the public internet we will be creating a vpn tunnel or vpn network so that this private network can communicate to this private so basically i can tell in this particular way that side to side vpn is basically when i want to connect one side which is geographically separated so let's say this is in us and this is in london for an example so if i want to communicate from one geographical location site to another geographical location sites through the tunnel on public internet when we are creating a virtual network that is can be called as site to site VPN. So we are connecting one site to another site basically right. So and the use case as I have discussed in this particular diagram. Okay. Now we are going to understand how exactly this particular thing work before we understand that let's understand some of the terminologies so that it will be easier to understand how exactly it works okay so friends let's understand what is encryption okay and encryption is actually an algorithm with the help of this image we'll try to understand more about it okay now as you can see in the plain text what is written hi mom exclamation mark like and after that with the help of key we'll talk about key where, where exactly you can find this particular key okay now with the help of key i'll be converting this plain text into a cipher text there are a lot of algorithms which are there which can convert this plain text to a cipher text an example can be 3 des des then we have aes AES uh, 256 512 like that there are so many other examples are there for encryption algorithm which basically converts your plain text into a cipher text so let's say if you are sending a traffic from one source to a destination if man in the middle if he captures your traffic he cannot understand what kind of data that you are sending because he will be getting this information now once it basically reaches here 
he will have the same kind of key so that it he can decrypt the traffic and he can get the actual message okay so what happens is i am sending a text okay it is with the key it is getting cipher text okay and after that i'll use the same key to get the actual text so this part will be done by the source okay and after that this part will be done by the destination okay now let's understand what is hashing so friends let's understand what is hashing with the help of this image we'll try to understand more about it okay so let's say again i'm taking the same text hi mom exclamation mark like i'll take this text and i'll send this test text to a hash function now where is the hash function hash function will be in pan os or router os or wherever the os is there where we want to do an hashing that os will support a hashing function that hashing function will generate a hash text now the text will not be changed okay only the hash text will get generated okay and that will be attached with this particular text so what happens is this is the source i'm sending to a destination okay and the text will be there with that text the hash text will be there so this is hash text and this is actual the text now if somebody takes the data man in the middle and changes this particular information or changes that particular data let's say he made it high only so now this particular man in the middle has changed the data and sent that data to destination now destination will have this hash text because it is attached to the traffic okay now once it reaches to the destination he'll try to generate the hash for this particular word hi which is having the clear text now this hash uh text or the hash text will be different from this one because this hash text was created based on this particular word or the text but now hi will generate some other hash text which will not match and destination will basically discard or drop this traffic now this way it basically ensures that your data should be integrated like it should not be tampered while transit from source to destination right we are going to understand the real use case in real world environment right now you just need to understand what is hashed what is hashing okay you just need to understand that particular process okay you don't need to correlate with anything right now because we are just understanding this so you just understand the hash ensures that there should not be a modification of your data while transiting from source to destination okay so now friends let's understand what is authentication so when you are building a side to side vpn let's say this is palo alto firewall and another side you have palo alto firewall right so when you are connecting to another device or when you want to build a tunnel with another device there should be a way we can authenticate or we can verify you are connecting to a correct device itself right so with the help of this image we'll try to understand more right now as you can see when you are logging into the password you have to verify yourself so you are putting some passwords right so there will be some way like we have something called as pre shared key we have something called as certificate so that we can identify their identity right that we are connecting to the right device okay so authentication basically ensures that you are going or you are sending to the right device through 
the help of authentication we can verify that and what are those pre-shared key and certificates and there are other ways as well but right now we am just talking about pre-shared key and authentication in side to side vpn okay hello friends let's understand what is defi hellman key exchange with the help of this image we'll try to understand more let me draw something to you to make you understand about this so let's say this is i'll just make it as polo alto firewall so this is polo alto firewall and you have another polo alto firewall here and we are building a side to side vpn right now what is the role of defi hellman over here is if you enable defi hellman over here the thing is it generates a private key and a public key okay same way this side also it creates or generates a public and private key now as this is private key it will not be shared as the same for this particular device as well and this is public key so this will be exchanged over them right so this is device number 1 and this is device number 2 let's say okay now this is device number 1 private key and this is device number 2 public key okay this is device number 2 uh, private key and this is device number 1 public key as they'll go for a calculation and they will get a same number like let's say i'll take a very normal or round figure number let's say 500 is a key this is also now let's say if somebody captures this particular data they will get to know about the public key they will never get to know about the private key so if they are not having the private key they cannot get to know about this key as well they cannot generate it if they get to know about the dh group number but they will not be able to because this private key has never been shared on this particular wire itself only the public key has been shared so this is the best way to exchange a key if you try to understand this particular image you will be able to understand what i'm trying to say maybe you will get to know about the calculation the mod calculation it requires understanding of mod calculation and the beauty of this particular key exchange is they will get the same key both the sides this basically helps us in a public environment when you want to exchange a key this is the best algorithm to do the exchange of the key right now we are going to in the next session we are going to understand how all this put together and how things will work in side to side vpn we will try to explore through wireshark captures and we'll try to understand how things will be working okay in side to side vpn so this is all about this is what i wanted to cover in this particular video thank you so much for watching till the end if you have any suggestion for my video you can comment down or you can reach out to me through email through instagram through facebook messenger thank you so much and i'll see you in the next thanks for watching till the end and i'll see you in the next thank you